doing a plant unboxing from Fern Plant Shop on Etsy. I ordered three plants, so let's see how they look. Hopefully there isn't too much dirt fallout. Just have my kitchen knife here. The prices are pretty reasonable. I got all four inch pots. All right, let's take a look. So right on top, my invoice. Inside of the box. Taping, which is good. This is my very first time sitting in front of a camera and talking to myself, so bear with me if I'm awkward. And if you would like to see more content like this, then stick around. So here it looks like my philodendron with the slit. Um, Soil is wrapped. Paper around the foliage, which is good. So foliage looks pretty decently sized, which is amazing for a four inch pot. As you can see, she's pretty big. Leaves are nice and curly. I'll insert a little photo of what this plant looks like as an adult, because they look very different fully grown than they do in a four inch pot. So far, not one drop of soil has fallen which is great compared to places like Hertz that don't really do the best shipping. This is also my first time ordering on Etsy, so, so far, so good. Again, there's new leaves, there's a new leaf unfurling here. Also, ignore my nails because they're terrible. Set him down. So, number two, each plant was actually taped down, which is pretty good. Let's see. This one already has a little bit of soil coming out the bottom, but not too bad. So we have some brownage, um, a little leaf, looks like it got bent a little bit, but that happens in shipping. This is a tricolor stromanthi. You can see the back of the leaves have this bright pink color and then they have the variegation. Again, this gets much larger, so I'll insert a photo off to the side to show you. I'm not going to um, take a look at the roots just yet because I want to give them some time to acclimate. And then eventually, after a few days, I will repot them. There's some of the browning. It looks like it lost a leaf at some point here. Otherwise, pretty beautiful. So, last one, I got a burrows too. 
is a form of a succulent. It's really in there. also had bubble wrap to protect the delicate little petals on the succulent. Oh, that's super cute. A few already falling off, which can be propagated. super delicate little leaves, so it's a given that you're going to lose some of them if you order this online. Looks pretty healthy. There's quite a few babies down in there. This will get really long and if you put it in a hanging pot, it'll kind of hang down the edge. It'll be really thick and beautiful. So yeah, excited about that one. So small haul, but wanted to give my hand at YouTube and try filming it. Um, so yeah, here they are, all three. This looks like it was just a brand new leaf unfurling. I think out of the three, this one's definitely my favorite. All right, so here is a more close up view. There's our burrow's tail. Lost a few babies, but again, those can be propagated. Excited to see what he looks like when he gets nice and big. Here's the tricolor stromanthi. Some browning on the leaves there. Not a super huge deal. Looks like these don't have too strong of irrigation, but we have some pink hues down here, which would be nice. These are all four inch pots again. And then this baby. This is the philodendron lickety split. Philodendron, I think, are my favorite variety at the moment. They get so massive and just like overwhelmingly beautiful, but this seems like it might be a new leaf. It's kind of thinner than the rest, a little more delicate. You can see it's like lighter in hue. And I have a brand new baby leaf there started to unfurl. And then a little leaf there that's starting to unfurl. So yeah, there's our little haul. So as I mentioned, this is my very first time sitting down in front of a camera and filming myself. So excuse any awkwardness for my first few videos, but I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel for quite a while. So I figured what better time than in quarantine to try my hand at it. Um, I'll be posting more plant content, some fashion content, maybe some makeup. Yeah, let me know what other type of content you would like to see. I would love any feedback, pointers, um, like I said, it doesn't come completely natural to me, so it's going to take some time for me to get used to it, and I would love some tips. But thanks for watching. So I just wanted to add a little snippet at the end here because I didn't really review um, for in Plant Shop as a seller, but I would say a solid 9 out of 10. The only thing that was kind of a bummer is the stromanthi. Um, it's a little bit small, has a little bit of brownage, a little bent leaf, but that's a given with shipping. Um, she did a really good job. They did a really good job packaging everything up. Everything was nice and taped down, wrapped up really nice. The foliage was all protected. 
Um, yeah, solid nine out of 10 for an implant shop. Definitely would recommend ordering them on Etsy. Um, they were pretty reasonably priced. This one is pretty large foliage for a four inch pot. The other two will get bigger over time. I think philodendrons are just larger plants to begin with. Um, but yeah, very excited. What do we think, Mama? The little Iris just had her space surgery, so she's rocking the cone. But yeah, again, thanks for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more.